In order to rig mechanical advantage here with pulleys, we want to start by understanding our potential input force. Now we know that a person should be able to pull their own weight, and that's actually a, a fact. We are able to pull approximately our own body weight, provided we have a good footing. Now, if we want to increase that, we, let's call that our input force. And we'll use a round number here. I will start by employing a little keeper pressic. This is a three wrap pressic. This is ultra tech, very strong cord, actually tinsel strength here on the ultra tech is 7,800 pounds per leg. Now, I'll screw down this heavy steel carabiner loaded along the major axis, preferably gate down. Now when I pull with a 200 pound input force, if I assume there is no friction on the pulley, then we know that there will be a 200 pound output force going to the tree. We need to realize that because both parts of the rope are loaded with 200 pounds of force, the anchor force or reaction force will be 400 pounds or two to one. Now let's increase our output force and I'll do so by attaching a 3 8 inch 10x INI sling to the rope. I've attached it with a VT or a val detained tress. Then I'll attach my double sheave pressic minding pulley. I prefer to have the gate down here and screw it shut, load it on the major axis. And Bruce, if you would take the line. Now, Bruce, if you were to input 200 pounds of force and we were to assume that there were there was no friction here on any of the sheaves that we're working with, then we know that all the parts of the rope are loaded equally. If we assume that the rigging is, the weight of the rigging is negligible, and we assume that all the parts of the rope are parallel, we have three parts of the rope acting and being concentrated at this point on the rope, so we have accomplished a three to one mechanical advantage. Again, knowing that our input force would be 200 pounds, we know that our output force could be 600 pounds. Here at the anchor, we have two parts of the rope acting on the anchor point. Our reaction force is still two to one. 